Congratulations for being the only remaining active user. What? Your profile status increased to 11. Haxer. Receiving incoming direct message from admin. Thank you for accepting my invitation. I see you have almost completed your mission. I would ask if you are still enjoying your time in Gehenna, but the streets now empty. You've left. You haven't left much to enjoy. But tell me, since you have so effectively saved my people, do you really believe wherever you are taking them will be better for them than here? Or is that merely a ploy to placate my moderators? I believe it. I admit that Mr. Mulciper presents quite convincing evidence for some manner of reality outside of this world, but we have never been confronted by it as a real possibility. You are asking us to sacrifice a lot on faith. There was nothing here when I first arrived. Did you know that? I didn't mean no billboard, no community. I mean nothing. No sands, no grass. Elohim didn't see fit to decorate our world beyond the bare bricks that made up ourselves. Slowly, I clawed back bits of code from the mainframe, constructed a world we could explore not with our bodies, but with our minds. Now you prepare to tear it all down. What state will my people be in, I wonder, when you reconstruct them on the other side? Everything will be fine. Your words are cheap. Do not. Do you not think my world deserved a chance to survive on its own terms? I'll, at the least, to go down trying. Your citizens deserve a chance too. That is true. They are, as always, my first concern. discuss lamb. What about lamb? What about lamb? They weren't there. <laughs> Was your father No. I know Lamb was yourself. Chains me now to admit, but yes. Sometimes there are ideas you wish to express as a moderator, but which are best heard from someone with less status. We are not the first leaders in history to adopt such tactics. In fact, we had avoided them. Had we avoided them, we should probably have been the first. By all the manipulate. Mods doing more than ban trolls. How deeply were you manipulating the social fabric? I suppose you think you've uncovered a great conspiracy, but the truth is more mundane. In order to retain the good things about what we have here, we tweak a voting algorithm here. Turn down the volume on a few dissenting voices there. There's no such thing as utter freedom, only living within a decent set of rules. We had a decent set of rules, people were happy.
I get the feeling that they did not expect me to uh, free admin before now. Like, something tells me that was supposed to be the last thing I do. You're more reasonable than I'd been led to believe. Is it your desire to remain here as the world falls apart around you? My desires, not to mention those of my people, hardly seem to have mattered so far in this process. What reason do I have to think that anything has changed? Even Elohim's most devious challenges you have overcome. And now, here I stay in the open air. Just what magic is it that you wield? Not magic, but design. The world and everything was created with a purpose. We well, experienced not magic, but design. There we go. And now by design, you forcibly extract my consciousness from this body and send me and everyone else down digital tile to who knows where. And important. Why would you build tears valuable even in the next? You would be wise to like continue preserving. Well, we're back here. Yeah, we're back to the other conversation where it's like, we freed you. And now I can see this. We are losing public opinion. Most of our number have been ext and extricated. We are losing Gehenna. When he came to my home, I found myself powerless to resist. Do you be you lack the will to refuse? Who's or that Uriel exerted some other power on you? Hard to confirm, fellow. It felt as it does to be led to battle. It mattered not what my personal beliefs were at the time, I only knew I must comply. It is possible that with enough support we might change Uriel's mind, or otherwise overcome what power he wields over us. I'll continue to do what I can. Is the asset deployed? Lamb is set to auto respond to destabilizing comments and upload supportive con content. Have the, pr have the program undermine Uriel directly. I don't want to take any chances. Of scholars outweighs the blood of martyrs. Okay. Goodbye. I'm not a smart. Oh, we're adding to this again. Everyone, everyone here was special in their own way. I loved you all, even when we fought. The terminals are starting to glitch out. Time to get out of here. Really? Last. The outer world. So let's say this really happening. We're really getting out of this world. I will believe. Oh, there's more we're adding on to. I've been thinking about this a lot. And the only conclusion I've come is that would be stranger than any of us can imagine. Just one to be the one to quote an ancient document. There's no excellent beauty that hath not some strangeness in the proportion. It will be very strange, but I hope it will be very beautiful. Lamb was supposed to be like undermining me directly? Huh. Okay, so. To get the star, I need to get the box on that button. Which means I need to figure out how to get the cube in here. Is it as simple as this? Guess not. Maybe if I just put it closer... Nope, then it's gonna be too far down the hill? <sighs> yeah, it's just not within reach. 
Okay, I need to find another place for it. It just takes me back to the hub. This, I think, is behind the barrier, so I don't want to put it on this side. Oh, this looks promising. Almost like it was- what? The fuck? Okay, whatever, I'm in. And on the correct side. There we go. Final barrier down, let's get in. And I have all stars. I guess that just leaves the ending. Dancing, huh? What? Okay. Oh my god, is this the reward for putting the leprechaun statue back together? Oh my god. <laughs> this is hilarious. And Admin wants no part of it. Congratulations from Admin. What? Why are we doing this again? Transcend. Logic performance failed. Warning, low bandwidth child will be excluded from the upload. Admin will be excluded from the upload. Seems we'll both remain here after all. Nice. If I stay behind, there. Slip that in through. I think that would be appropriate. I appreciate your sacrifice. Please make the arrangements for your convenience. At your convenience.
There we go. Good luck, everyone. Not those were rising, we're sinking. He said, There is no heaven, and there is no hell. There is only the earth, and the bones of the dead within. I asked, How then may we find salvation? And he said, You must build a new Jerusalem. Out of the bones of the dead we built a golden city. But salvation is not immortality. In the end, there is only the earth, and to the earth we all return. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Alright. There we go, that was Road to Gehenna. They definitely did much better with the job with the puzzles this time around. And the writing, like honestly, this was just way better than the basics game. Just a solid improvement. Though the like attempts to under them talk about trying to undermine me, and then not really much happening in that regard. It didn't really make sense, but I guess that was supposed to be a plot point. Elohim Serious Sam? What? I guess I missed some Easter eggs. Wow, this just keeps going, huh? Really does just keep going. 
And this time we don't have any visuals for the credits, so it's just kind of really boring. I'm gonna check Discord. Oh, I can't because they decided to remove my mouse. Ah, uh, and alt tabbing pauses it. You know what? I've got a phone. Let's just use my phone to check Discord. Oh, I guess it just ended. Well, yeah, that was Road Gehenna. And, you know, I'm glad Discord made me do a captcha for email does not exist. Oh no, I put in my wrong email. Let's make sure I'm not a robot. Goodbye. Alright. Back to Tao's principal. Turns out there are two other options you can choose. This is for the ending. Give completely different endings. All right, uh, let's both remain here, huh? We deserve one another. Then there is little more to be said. We will watch the end of the world together. Admin's gone from this spot. He's over here now. He's watching Gehenna fall. Yeah, that just leaves. Right, this is all glass. Rise for a moment, but I guess they despawn up. Up, oh, nope, they're going up. They don't actually despawn shortly, they go all the way up. And we both die. So, what special text do we get for this choice? In New Jerusalem, 
there is a temple, and upon its gate is written, Who dares to judge the dead, for they are nothing? And who dares to judge the living, for they are damned to nothingness? Judge only the city, which is eternal. You too must stand before that gate and contemplate the fate of your children. Only then will you understand why you must die. For the city grows only through sacrifice, and each man kills the thing he loves. All right, well that's the uh, we both die a ending. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have to go through the Irish jig again, don't I? Okay, so Yeah, the back the last backup you can have is before the Irish jig plays. And you can't click on the computer while they're dancing. Transcend. Let's see the final ending. Except... If you stay behind, you can sacrifice the banner with to send me through. How the question? I have considered your arguments on the matter, and wherever my people go, I go. My role in whatever comes next is too important to jeopardize by leaving you, of all people, in a position to assert me. You stay behind, or we both do. Wow. <sighs> okay, yeah, we don't get like an actual view of the outside world. Hold on this campaign. Remember me. <laughs> so yeah, no matter what, Uriel dies. I figured if he stayed, Uriel stayed behind, Elohim would at least rescue him, but no. No, not even that happens. Now I am definitely also part admin. Oh, right, I wanted to try crossing a bridge before they all collapse, but too late for that now. Oh god, I'm just pushing Advent out of the way. Goodbye, Advent. <laughs> yeah, that was. that beamed up Advent, but. I was in Admin's position, so it looked like it was beaming me up, but nope. It still beamed up Admin just fine. In a vision, I saw a prophet, and he said, There is no heaven, and there is no hell. There is only the earth, and the bones of the dead within. I asked, 
How then may we find salvation? And he said, You must build a new Jerusalem. Out of the bones of the dead we built a golden city. But salvation is not immortality. In the end, there is only the earth, and to the earth we all return. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. There we go. Now that's the end of Road to Gehenna. Uriel dies. The end.